Hi, welcome to the Bubba Bells pregame show for week 10 against the Lions. Alright, top story today, all these injuries. Andre Davis, Roscoe Parrish, Cordo Howard, and Sean Merriman. How's this going to affect the teams, Justin? Well, Davis and Parrish are on IR, so Roscoe not being a punt returner, that's going to hurt quite a bit. Uh, Andre Davis, he was very solid up the middle. Guess what? That can mean a big game for Javid Best this week. Uh, Beyond that, Cordero Howard, I think he's a step above uh, Mansfield Grotto. Definitely a step above uh, the right tackle we had to begin the year, Cornell Green. And while well, Sean Merriman, you can't say there's going to be any difference if he's hurt. Because yeah. he hasn't played yet. We don't know, yeah. <laughs> we don't know yet. All right. Uh, On the other side, though, Matthew Stafford is hurt. That could be a big thing. Don't you agree with yeah, that? Yeah, what do you think about that? Um, well, yeah, he, he was kind of having a pretty decent season so far. It'll be interesting to see if they can actually win a game, too. They're kind of in the same boat we're in. We get really close, but they can't shut the door. So it'll be interesting to see if the backup can help them um, get over that hurdle. Well, on top of that, they don't have a kicker either. True. <laughs> sure. They don't have a kicker, thanks to Rex Ryan. All right, now it's time for the offensive breakdown. Uh, right, what's our strategy against the Lions in here? Because, you know, this could be a high-scoring game, and we don't know. So what are we going to do here? Um, I don't know about high-scoring, but it I think it may actually be an exciting game because the Bills have gotten so close for the last three weeks. Not sure if they're going to pull out a win, but, I mean, I think against the Lions, just like anybody else, you got to stop the run. All right, uh, Justin, what do you think about that? Well... For our offense, the biggest thing is going to be uh, basically putting all five guys on the dunk on Sue and hoping that they can block him. Maybe, maybe just maybe. Uh, that said, Ryan Fitzpatrick has to uh, get that mental block out where in late in the game he's not throwing a pick or uh, yeah. Fred Jackson not fumbling in the fourth quarter. Those are going to be mental blocks there. The Lions are not a team that knows how to win. If they know how to win, they would be... Four and four, five and three, six and two right now, but they don't know how to win either. So this is going to be a game where it come, it could come down to the end, and it could be like a 23-23 tie or something goofy like that. <laughs> like another tie? Yeah, pretty close, you know. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, all right. Now let's have a defensive breakdown. Um, it's a big game for Chess. Uh, so what do you think about that? Javid Best is a good rookie running back. Uh, difference between him and Spiller is Best is better up the middle right now. Uh, uh, fortunately for him, he has a better line to uh, work in front of him, yeah. and they're able to open up some holes for him. That's one thing that CJ Spiller hasn't quite caught on to yet. All right, uh, now we put a package together. The Bills haven't had a home game in a while, so we're going to show you a little bit about Tobian. I'm like getting up at 7 in the morning on a fun day. Um, I had to sleep 11 hours just to prepare for it. And I'm waiting to get picked up. After I was picked up, we went to get hot chocolate and dropped off the dog with my uncle's dog so they could have a play day. Not even kidding there. Then we packed up the van and drove to my Uncle Jim's house. Then it was at that time where we experienced a serious problem. Sorry, guys. No, you're fine. So anyway, here we are um, in my aunt's van, and um, it's 10-10 right now, and Sean is not here. He's supposed to be, and we don't know where he is. Um, my aunt Denise is supposed to be on the football field at 11 o'clock, 50 minutes till game time, and um, we're hoping everything's okay. We have to make a decision. He's not even answering his phone. It means that I don't know what happened with him. What should we do? What do you want to do? I don't know. I can't believe this. I'm so proud of myself. Get here early. Get do everything on time. And what, then... what is this? Well, why don't we? Uh... Let me see if I can find them. Oh gosh, I can't believe this. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. A few minutes later, we learned that Sean was just fine, but he was just going to miss the carpool. 
At that point, worry turned to annoyance. In reference to the family tailgate, uh, we're not using the your directions. Yeah. <laughs> so we usually have more people, but unforeseen circumstances. Due to one of the hosts, Sean Lauer. You need to give him a hard time. Sean Bauer, who was the one that's making us late. So I hope when this is discussed on the show that he gets ridiculed. And but I'm going to call in the show. Like I know oh, you're going to about 5 o'clock. I'm working I know. You can give work. him a hard time. I'm not going to do it. You're going to do it. Jared, you got to do it. I have to give him a hard time? Right, because college boys are... I, five o'clock was like a norm on a week. Because of Sean, we were an hour and a half late to the tailgate. To be honest, I was okay that we only had an hour to tailgate. It was raining, the burgers were getting wet and sparky, rain gear was beginning to fall apart. The best part about the tailgate was just talking about the game. Vinny, tell me your expectations for today's game. Bills are going to win 27-14. Oh, that's the exact score, huh? Yep. All right. Going to get two interceptions. We need interceptions. We haven't had any yet. Throughout most of the tailgate, we were still trying to call Sean since we had to lock the car before going into the game, and we had his rain gear. But finally, 40 minutes before the game started, Sean showed up. There he is! He didn't cross that. Take a look, did he? I don't remember. With Sean's arrival, it was time to go to the game. Does anybody remember who won the game? That's right, it was the Jets, 38-14. to The pills looked horrible, and we all got depressed. Well, sort of. Someone's caught in it. Now, this is, after, this is the family tailgate after the game in the pouring rain. Any last words? Go Bills! We'll come back. So that's how my family tailgates. It may have not been a typical tailgate, but like the Bills themselves, you never know what will happen. Oh, great uh, package there, Jared. All right, Sean. <laughs> so how how hammered were you coming into that? Not at all. And Jared, producer, you're a big wuss. Come on, only one hour and you're fine with that? You should be tailgating from 7 a.m. to freaking 1 p.m. You wuss. Man up. All right. After that note, we're gonna do the keys and picks of the game. Nikita, what's your uh, what's your key to the game? Keys of the game is the Bills have to learn how to win. They gotta learn how to shut the door. They've come really close and they still haven't learned to win yet. All right, Justin, what's yours? Black and Damakon Sue. Simply put, he's destroying every offensive line he's facing. You gotta block him, man. All right, mine's uh, score some more points because uh, I like points. You like right. points? Really? I like the Bills scoring lots of points. Okay, now it's time for the keys or the pick to the game. Uh, the key what's yours? I am picking Detroit 28-17. All right, and yours? Buffalo 24-21. Has to happen at some point. Come on. Mm -hmm. And I agree with Justin. Uh, the score is going to be 28 to 24 Bills. Okay, uh, thank you for joining us this week. I have a little uh, little tip in here. Uh, the Lions have not won a road game in three years. The last one's against the Bears in 2007. 24 straight losses. Let's make it 25. Let's do it. All right, go Bills. See you guys later. Uh, next. See you guys next week for the Bengals. Ah! <laughs>